uh, to come meet them. Okay, so the guy said that he saw her go to the hospital. Crowbar, from my understanding, is typically the best thing for you to take. We have enough space where I could bring more items, but I don't think I'm going to. Yeah, I'm going to hold off because you can always come back. So long as there's not something that specifically happens. All right, so no bandits. Hospital seems open. I hope you're all right. Yeah, so the... Um, the hospital has a bunch of guards and stuff. Um, and if you get injured, there's a doctor. Usually there's a doctor here that can heal you, uh, for, or bandage you for free. If you're not severely wounded, which is really nice. Nice. We just found a piece of food. This icon, the one that's like kind of popping up a little bit, um, is the steel one, so I'm not trying to get them on my bad side. <laughs> so there's no way I'm going to attempt stealing here. Um, okay. Let's grab all the items we can. Hey, do you have you seen my daughter? I've been here before. That must have been her captor. Oh, do you know where he took her? No, I'm sorry. I wish I could help you. Okay, so somebody knows then. Somebody's gotta know. All right, so now we can go up these steps see if anybody else does this is usually the doctor I get my hopes up for fear and now those soldiers look they torture me mutilated me bloody bastards I hope they rot in the ground before all this is over and we got hit by the uh... a hey, doctor I'm the only nurse after the bombing I have to tend to this patient They want me to come back? How did your daughter get kidnapped? So, in the beginning of the game, it was like day three. Um, she, this guy wouldn't sleep. And we had no option to make him sleep. So he passed out. And he had a brother um, that came to the place and was like, hey, like, the human humanitarians they're nearby like we should take her the only people they're accepting are parents and children and um, and some other people so he was like no I'm not risking it and then uh, one sec what you get here it's from the nurse okay um yeah we'll let him keep it very weak even a minor inf minor infection can kill me um so his brother came the night that he passed out because he was he had he was too exhausted and stole the kid to try to make out um to get to the the humanitarian aid place and uh, when we went to go find him uh, we followed the trail and we found his dead body and it turns out he was stabbed like multiple times um, so so now we're trying to find out how uh, how that happened yeah this game's not not mu very much of a happy game it's kind of rough as you can probably tell. 
you can get happy endings or like survive the war and stuff, but uh, it's not not easy. Compassion. <laughs> we got that because we let them keep the, the uh, jacket, I guess. Day 10. The classic version of this game doesn't get this in depth for like the characters. Like they'll have little backstories and stuff, but like that's pretty much it. Um, the story DLCs, it puts you in like an actual scenario and it's a little bit more linear, but you can still make like different choices. This one, I'm pretty sure is the most linear out of all the DLC. The next one you play as the one of the radio stations. So you can choose what you put out on the radio while you're scavenging and doing whatever else. And then the last one, I'm pretty sure you play as like a, like a little refugee group. Um, something like that, at least. It's pretty cool, though. I'm, I'm really glad that I started this game. There's a lot, and I mean a lot, of replay value. Like, you can play this game almost over and over and over and still have, like, different outcomes, different things happen. I'm trying to move this a little bit closer so that way we can just like make food right after coming in. Also, he's exhausted. Um, yeah, I'm going to break this down. He's very hungry right now, so I'm gonna, unfortunately, in this scenario, I'm gonna wait until he's starving before I feed him. Um, there's some food that's still being grabbed on the left side. Some rat food. You're forgetting that this thing isn't tracking my, uh my mouse clicks for some reason. There it is. Now it should be able to capture it. Yeah, okay. Someone took Amelia there. Yeah. I need to go back to the hospital, but the person was doing was too busy. She was doing the surgery. I'm assuming by the next time we go back, she'll be fine. It's starting to get a little bit cold in the room too. We're at 12 Celsius. Um, if it gets below that, I think it might be if it goes under 13, technically they can start to get sick. Um, Right now, we don't have any meds, but I do have um, some herbal meds that may or may not work. Depends. Okay. We're good on food right now, so I'm gonna... Well, he's very hungry, but... Okay, you know what? Yeah, I'll... I'll this will put him down to hungry, and then we won't have to eat for like two or three days. Hopefully by then we'll have more food to make. Alright, good. Let's go have him rest. Actually, I'm wondering, since we're going th to this way, I'm going to check the, um, the workshop. Can we make a heater? Yeah, we can. Okay. I'm just going to make one. Uh, try to keep it close by. Let 
We still have time to have him, to let him rest too. Ugh. He needs uh he's a coffee drinker. So if we if we had coffee and water, you need coffee and clean water, then he'll gradually use it and that helps their mental state. So if they're like a, a smoker, you need cigarettes to to help them mentally. Um if they're a coffee drinker and they need coffee and water to try to be a little bit happier. Things like that. Okay. That'll put the room up a little bit higher. Warmer. Check the radio before going to uh having him rest. Next few days should be warm and pleasant and a little bit windy. Classical music playing. Starting a day without a cup of coffee has become an almost unavailable commodity. The prices have skyrocketed. Siege remains cut off. The spokesman for the military said shelling, winter, and lack of supplies should force the defenders to surrender. Alright. Let's have him rest. Still very tired, but you don't really have an option. Okay, so it tells you there might be clues for leading to Amelia. All right, so let's go back here. Um, I'm. I'll bring this. The hatchet, just in case. I've never taken a hatchet out somewhere with me. So I'm wondering if you can uh, break stuff down still. Uh, oh wait, this is a surgery room. Is she still doing surgery? Please. Belongs to my daughter. Do you know where she is? Oh, we had some children here. Maybe doctor uh, could help you, but last night he was taken by soldiers. Oh, good God. By the entrance might know as to the hoodie i found it discarded on the second floor i appreciate it if you didn't take it we're very short on blankets and warm clothes all right i'm not going to take it because they're very short on blanket and, and clothes where the doctor is taking who told you that what's your connection to him I'm looking for my daughter and he might know where she is i have must talk to him he won't be in any condition to talk even if they let him out, which I strongly doubt. He can tell you you're desperate, so here's an abandoned toy store nearby. People are taken there for interrogation. I wouldn't go there if I were you, though. It's suicide. What other option do we have? I, I have never done... So, I accidentally got into a combat scenario when I was playing the regular mode of this, um, but I ran away. So, cause I wasn't trying to kill anybody. I was trying to just like get by and I wasn't trying to steal either. Uh, I don't know how that's gonna work, but I guess we don't really have any other options, so. There's not really much else to take here either, so we I think we pretty much have to leave. Oh boy. Adam is back. I'm just exhausted. I go to the hospital. Amelia you know, had already been taken somewhere else. I must talk to the doctor before these soldiers kill him. I may never find her. Uh, let's put one fuel in this, and then have him rest.
the only thing that's really a big deal right now is his uh um exhaustion luckily he's depressed but he's determined so he's not gonna make do anything really stupid In the classic mode, you wouldn't want somebody depressed this long. Alright. Um. I mean, we could hit end of end the day. But if somebody comes to the door offering something, we would miss out on it. I'll get I'll give it a little bit just to see we might want to put hey you know what let's let's speed it up be okay toy store all right here we go Amelia love visiting the toy store before soldiers have turned it into enhanced interrogation center and apparently they're keeping the unfortunate doctor there you might know where Amelia is. I better go there and get well prepared. I hope it's not too late. Oh boy. I've never been in a scenario like this. Time to fight. I have ammo, but I have no weapon. Ah, oh, damn it. We would have... Oh wait, do we have a broken pistol? No, we don't even have one anyways. Um... All right, so let's bring this and the crowbar. It's pretty much all we can take. I don't know if the, um, I don't know if you can use the bandage on site, but I guess we'll find out. One just shot. Oh no, it wasn't me. Oh god. Don't tell me it ends right there. Uh Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> All right. So what what just happened was I ran to the door too fast. <laughs> I was going to say there's no way. Damn, dude. <laughs> I ran to it because I'm I'm so used to double clicking. Um, <laughs> he ran to the door, so they heard it. I didn't know that they were just shoot on sight. I figured they at least like talk it out. Can't we, can't we talk, bro? All right, round two. Let's not double click this time. There might be something up there. <gasps> Wait a minute. Might have a gun. Uh, we've got ammo. So that's good. Oh 
Oh my god, this is a pretty big place. It won't take long now. Okay, so he's in the basement. Probably all the way down there. Keep an eye out for insurgents. Let's see. So we need to get to the basement. He heard me jump over to that side, that's why. Damn rats. <laughs> just a rat, just a rat. They actually... <laughs> Did someone touch this door? Strange. Oh boy. How am I supposed to get him out? Alright. Does that guy have a gun? I don't think he does. It's just the guy at the door. Alright, we're going for it. Three, two, one. Ow. Really? Damn it, I'm dead. He has a knife. All right, so we need a, like a, a gun or a knife. <laughs> Cause we just got wrecked. <laughs> didn't make it. I didn't realize that knives were that, um... Yes. Might be able to do that too. Which is nice. What weapons do you have? So... Actually, we don't really have, like, really any weapons right now. Um, we would need to upgrade this thing in order to make better weapons. Right now, I think the only thing I can actually make is, um, let me see. Okay, so I can make a knife. Gotcha. Alright, so let's make one then. I wasn't sure if I can make one. Um, so the only one I can make right now is a knife. If we upgraded this workstation, then you can make guns, but you need a broken one and then parts. So like, okay, yeah, we can, so we can upgrade this. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Um, and you'll be able to see what I mean in a second here. So, with making weapons, um, you need that broken weapon 
and gun parts or weapons parts in order to repair it and then you need the ammo to be able to use it so right now i don't think that i have any um so here we are so pistol we almost have enough weapon parts but we don't have the uh the broken pistol you can make a helmet but you need a damaged helmet things like that and it looks like there's a uh a trader here this time i wish you could save in this game like right here you could go with the heavy weapon places searches for that yeah but i don't know how much time we have that's my only fear and I once we kill like one guy then technically we should be able to um, like take his weapon and the ammo for it we just need to be able to I mean this time this time around I can kill that guy in the beginning instead of letting him walk all the way up and then I could go down uh, take out the one guy and then uh, shoot the other one. But I could try that. Or I can just go down with the knife and see if uh, we can get him. The guy didn't have much for me to trade. All right, so toy store. Sure, we bring the knife. Here it is, weapons. Ching. I'll bring the ammo that we have, might as well. All right, we'll scavenge all of this. I love how <laughs> we're in the basement we are close to uh i almost attacked the guy in the chair too so you have the weapons parts Six ammo. So they both they both have guns. Alright, I think I'm gonna, once he leaves, I think I'm gonna try to kill him. Oh god! No! Too far from the door. Don't chase them. Damn it. <laughs> Actually, though. What's up, Mr. Spock? How you doing? Ugh. <laughs> and I still have to. I mean, I don't need to upgrade it. I can just build the weapon, just make the knife. fine usually but usually just like okay gotcha huh 
All right, I'll try this again. This time I'm following my original plan and not trying to spice things up. <laughs> Got the knife. Have him go to sleep. I wish you could just start on the day. Uh, the day of the attack. And not the day before. But that's okay. Alright, let's take all this again. Loading. I think we're almost there too because I saw typically it takes about two hours for this one and then I think episode two is like three or four. Oh my god. So when we're getting there it's just this is setting us back. The combat in the in this game is not the friendliest. Anyone that would go like all the way up here would have to be crazy. Unless that they already know. Like if something's up here or not. It looks like there might be something right here. The dude's all the way down there. I need to watch out because I'm left clicking as I'm moving the thing around. And if you double click by accident, He'll automatically try to take a route to that area. And uh, that would not be any fun. Oh, there. Right there, he turns around and looks behind him. I mean, I could go kill him up there. <gasps> oh God, God, hide. Try to hide and bait him. I could try for these guys. And try to bait the ones underneath me. I don't know if they hear it though. Oh, somebody else did I think. I mean, I can wait, wait it out. Don't know anything about the insurgents. We just need to talk to the man. Can we just have a minute? That'd be cool if this was one of those types of games where you, where you can take the outfit of somebody. Uh -oh. oh. Okay, good, good. He jumped across. Oh no! Oh no! Oh god. 
bro. No, no, no. Oh, no, no. All they need to take is one shot. Hit me with your best shot. Go ahead and hit me with your best shot. Yo. Pog. <laughs> what? They couldn't even do anything. Adam is stone cold. Oh my god, dude. What? I think we just... Now, hopefully I'm right with this, but I'm pretty sure we just killed all of them. Oh my god, dude. Alright, sir, I just need to know about my daughter. Relax, you're safe now. My daughter is brought to your hospital. Where is she now? Thank you. I thought it was done for her. I don't remember anything that kept me here so long. Where is she? There. Tell me. Old church. You should go to the old church. All right, dude. Holy crap. Uh... I think we might be able to leave this way. Oh god. Okay, run to the exit. I don't know what happens when you run out of time. The doctor. Holy crap, dude. I don't know how we did that. That was actually Rambo. I guess if you're in, like, if you're in an action with somebody else, then they can't shoot you. I don't, did we even take any damage? I don't think we even took any damage. The best haul ever, actually, though. Actually, what do you say? Uh... Managed to save the doctor from the murderers, and he told me to talk to Father Demir at the church. He knows where Amelia is. Soon we'll be together. Nice. And he's just hungry and very tired. So, we're very hungry and very tired. We got weapons, too. <laughs> if a traitor came today, we'd be all set. All right, I'm going to have him rest, mainly because he's still very tired. But I think I'm going to wait on uh, moving it or uh, ending the day. Uh, actually, We should be fine if we do some other stuff between now and then. So let's go pick up all these materials. And there's food there now. Sweet. Grab all. Do we? We don't have any like armor, right? Just assault rifles. Okay. Awesome. I'm so happy with how that went. Seems like it's getting colder and colder. We don't have any, uh, 
It's fine. Um, okay, let's go check the radio. And then I'll have him rest for the rest of the night. The more fu fuel you put into the heater, the warmer it gets. Yeah, I wasn't sure if it's... Um, and then the big one maxes out at six. I th I'm not sure what this... I have the basic one. I don't know what it maxes out at, though. Coming in the upcoming days, it'll get extremely cold. We have to find her soon. Winter is coming. Alright, we'll put three in there. And then I'll just have him rest. I'll probably jump up to... Something. Nice, 15. Okay, so old church. Uh, we shouldn't really, doesn't look like we'll need anything. We'll find out if we do. <laughs> so many botters, body, oh god. People who came here, the immune turn. Oh my gosh. Don't tell me. It's a massacre. If there's a bunch of soldiers here, doesn't look like it. She didn't. Thank goodness is she here. She is, you can go to her. My prayers are with her. How did he know? Where is she? What the? This place, I've been here before, oh no. Getting worse by the minute. Please don't die on me. What if she wasn't alive the entire time? I'll find a way to save you. The memories are coming back. Oh no. Oh my god, I think I think I remember. an icon the doctor please you must help her that's she's the girl that she tried doing surgery on you are too late God, my munchkin. I wonder if you can save her. The truth. You learned about the truth of Amelia's fate. Oh. So what's the truth? Damn, dude. That's depressing. Alright, so what happened to him afterwards? So all of that... ...didn't happen? He was just hallucinating? I believe the war would really break out. 
and then it did. It's too late to run. I had to trade away most everything we had, but I managed to get some meds for Amelia. My brother wanted to take Amelia away to help him get through a humanitarian quarter. I threw him out. I woke up and Amelia was gone. Was she kidnapped? I couldn't remember anything. I must have fallen asleep. Oh, that's when it happened. Okay. Brother been murdered. Found his body on the floor in a pool of blood. We didn't get on, what get on well. But I wish he never. I never wished I, him dead. Oh God. This one's moving a lot faster. Old hobo to told us where to look. Yeah, remember that. <laughs> Several soldiers were killed by Adam. That's when we went Rambo. Rescued the doctor. Saved the doctor from the murderers. He told me a location. Men, women, and children who gathered by the church in hopes of evacuation were massacred in cold blood. On one of memories, that fatal night came rushing back. Amelia had been kidnapped after all. I tried to save her, but I failed. Dissociative am amnesia, eh, amnesia is a memory disorder characterized by sudden retrograde memory loss and is caused by severe stress or trauma, such as that of witnesses or witnessing the death of a loved one. The person suffering it from it forgets the painful experience as if it never happened and lives in denial. That's what happened to Adam. Ouch. Poor Adam. Okay, so it was pretty much like two hours long. Sad ending. Alright, so that's the first episode. Father's Promise. 